when choosing an Ars Linux based distribution. Two of the most prominent options today are Endor OS and Catch OS. Both distros share a common Arch foundation, but pursue different philosophies in terms of installation, performance optimizations, and default configurations. In this video, we will explore each distribution's background, key features, and differences to help guide your decision. What is Endor OS? Endor OS launched in mid-2029 as the successor to Antigar OS, aiming to keep the spirit of a user-friendly Arch experience alive. It follows a rolling release module, meaning you receive continuous updates rather than periodic major upgrades. The project's primary goal is to provide a near vanilla Arch environment while supplying an easy-to-use installer which is Calamaris and some lightweight convenience tools to simplify post-install configuration. As of February 10th, 2025, the latest ISO release is named Mercury, which includes up-to-date hardware support, default dark themes for several desktop environments, and fixes to BIOS UEFI installation workflows. Endor OS ships with the Pac-Man as its package manager alongside popular EUR helpers like YAY, granting access to the complete Arch repository and the Arch user repository which is AUR out of the box. Now what is Catchy OS? Catchy OS emerged more recently as another Arch based distribution with a specific focus on out-of-the-box performance and security optimizations. It targets users who want a pre-tuned Arch experience without manually tweaking kernels, bootloaders, or file systems. Key distinguishing features include a custom Linux CatchOS kernel optimized with propeller technology for better responsiveness under load and enhanced gaming performance, as well as a switch to the Lamine bootloader, supporting theming and straightforward BTRFS snapshot integration. The distro continuously refines its defaults. For example, the February 2025 release introduced propeller optimizations for multiple architectures, while the March 2025 release added Lamine as the default bootloader and improved NVIDIA support via GSP firmware re-enabling. Now, Installation and Initial Setup Endor OS uses the Calamaris Graphical Installer, guiding you through partitioning and desktop selection. During an online install, you can choose from 8 official desktop environments, which are XFCE, KDE Plasma, GNOME, MAT, Cinnamon, Budgie, LXQT, and LXDE, or the i3 Window Manager. Calamaris also offers an offline KDE Plasma option, allowing for a lean install if you prefer minimalism. Now, Catchy OS. By contrast, employs a script-driven semi-graphical installer that automatically sets up the optimized kernel, Lemine bootloader, and pre-configured BTRFS file system with snapshot support if you choose BTRFS. The installation process features fewer decisions. You select your disk, root password, username, and desktop of your choice. CatchOS usually offers multiple desktop environments, including KDE Plasma, XFCE, and GNOME. Everything else from kernel parameters optimized for responsiveness to secure defaults is handled automatically. Now, default desktop environments and theming. Endor OS presents a truly blank canvas. Each desktop environment is installed in its upstream form, with only subtle theming for consistency. For instance, the Mercury ISOs gives KDE Plasma, GNOME, XFCE, MAT, Budgie, and Cinnamon dark themes by default, but otherwise leave each environment's layout and toolsets largely untouched. This approach is ideal for users who want to configure their desktop environment precisely how they like, 
without worrying about upstream changes being overwritten. Now, catchy OS. Often ships with more aggressive theming and custom configurations. For example, the catchy OS KDE Spin will include pre-installed tools like the catchy OS settings. Suit for tweaking kernel profiles, GPU drivers, and power management. GNOME spins may feature custom extensions or pre-configured shell tweaks focused on performance. While branding remains minimal, the out-of-the-box experience is more optionated than Endeavor OS, favoring Phil Montanes or lighter themes tuned for speed. Now, kernel and performance. On Endeavor OS, you install the vanilla Arch Linux kernel unless you opt into Arch Alternative Kernels, which is Linux LTS or Linux Zen, yourself. While the kernel choices are robust, any additional performance tuning, such as enabling BTRFS snapshots or customizing scheduler options, requires manual intervention by the user. Now, catch OS. However, default to its Linux CatchOS kernel. This custom kernel is compiled with propeller optimizations such as read, copy, update enhancements. Designed to boost responsiveness under load, reduce latency for multimedia and gaming, and streamline CPU scheduling. As reported in Reddit user benchmarks, gaming FPS and UI responsiveness show noticeable gains on CatchOS compared to a vanilla Arch kernel. Now, bootloader and file system. Endeavor OS traditionally uses Groom as its default bootloader, though you can install alternatives manually. File system choice rests entirely with you, ext4, btrfs, xfs, etc. But BTRFS snapshots and automated rollback require post-install configuration and learning curve. For example, installing Groove, BTRFS, and setting up scripts. Now, catchy OS. Switch it to the Lemine bootloader in early 2025, which supports both BIOS and UEFI seamlessly and offers theming support similar to Groove but with faster boot times. Additionally, for BTRFS installations, CatchOS configures auto snapshotting with group BTRFS out of the box, making it rival to revert to previous system states without manual scripting. Now, package management and software availability. Both distributions leverage Pacman and grant full access to the AUR repository which is Arch user repository. Thus, software availability is effectively identical once the base system is installed. Endor OS includes YAY by default as an AUR helper and offers some lightweight post-install tools. For example, EOS update notifier, EOS rollback snapshots for easier maintenance of a ruling release system. Catch OS also comes with YAY pre-installed and adds its own CatchOS settings, graphical interface to manage kernel profiles, enable micro-architectural mitigations for security, tweak GPU driver settings for NVIDIA versus AMD, and configure BTRFS snapshots, features that Endor OS leaves for the user to handle manually. Now, user experience and customization. With Endor OS, customization is a core tenant. The initial installation is a minimal, almost vanilla Arch setup, giving you the freedom to add only what you need. If you wish to configure window tiling, customize themes, or add kernel optimizations, the community wiki and forums are excellent resources. Beginners transitioning from Ubuntu or Fedora appreciate the balance between a polished installer and the raw hands-on arch experience that follows. Now, catchy OS caters to those 
who want optimized out of the box. Many tweaks like kernel scheduler options, pre-configured compositor settings, and gaming improvements are already enabled. So you can start using your machine at high performance without diving deep into system internals. However, if you prefer to fine-tune every detail, you might find some default optionated. The forum feedback indicates that power users often remove or reconfigure CatchUA settings to match their workflow. Now, community and support. Endor OS benefits from a long-standing active community. Its forums and subreddit are dedicated to troubleshooting, guides, and tips for customizing your system. Because Endor OS closely tracks Ars development. You also have access to Ars broad documentation, which is Arc Wiki, and community resources. Now, Catchy OS. While Younger has cultivated a growing user base through a dedicated forum and subreddit, developers actively post monthly chain logs and users share experiences related to gaming performance, kernel updates, and hardware support. Although smaller, the community's focus is squarely on performance, so discussions often revolve around benchmarking, kernel configurations, and GPU driver optimizations. So here I made the pros and cons table. So you can watch this screenshot and find out which is best for you. So finally, which one should you choose? Pick Endeavor OS if you value a near vanilla Arch Linux experience with easy installer support. Ultimate control over every aspect of your system, from theming to kernel choice. Learning the ins and outs of Arch without building everything manually, thanks to Calamaris and light post-install tools. Now, pick Catchy OS if you value a turnkey, performance-optimized Arch flavor that just works with minimal setup and out-of-the-box GPU, CPU, and file system optimizations, especially beneficial for gamers or content creators needing low latency, and automated BTRFS snapshot support, and a modern Limine bootloader with theming. Both distributions are solid choices, and because they share the Arch Foundation, switching between them is relatively straightforward. You can install the CatchOS kernel on Endor OS or vice versa if you wish. Ultimately, your decision will hinge on how much manual configuration you enjoy versus how much you want defaults that are already turned for performance. Now finally, the conclusion. In this comparison, I covered Endor OS minimal yet polished approach and CatchOS aggressively optimize defaults. Whether you lean toward building your system piece by piece or prefer pre-tuned performance, both distros will serve you well. Choose Endor OS for more hands-on RC journey or catch OS for instant performance boost with minimal hassle. No matter your pick, you will benefit from the extensive Arts ecosystem, AUR availability and rolling release model that both distributions provide. Thank you for watching this comparative overview. If you found this information helpful, consider liking, subscribing, and commenting below about which Arch based distro you prefer and why. Happy Linuxing! I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.